Turning water into wine is a skill which not many people appear to have learned. Before you can do it, however, you need some good water. Not the stuff that's in here, but good water. And what we're talking about here is water which is appropriate for the human body. Well, not just humans, but all organic life on this planet. And the majority of the water that arrives in your home, be it through the tap or faucet or whatever, is rarely in a state fit for human consumption. Now, a little while ago, I was invited by a certain American country, not a large one, to advise them on possibilities of cleaning their drinking water. You see, around 60% of their drinking water comes from a number of very large lakes which have become heavily polluted with agricultural chemicals, which is having some serious effects upon the health of not only the humans living in that country, but also their domestic animals. So it's becoming a real burden economically. Now, I had heard of Ion Doyok, who has discovered a way of activating water so that it will separate pollutants into soluble nutrients, which then plankton and other um, water creatures can use as food, and non-soluble material which sinks to the bottom. So they, basically the pollutant disappears and you have a water which has been enriched with nutrients. He's actually done things like cleaning the harbour in Mersin in Turkey. I think it took him about four hours, uh, four days, I'm sorry. And if you'd ever seen the harbour in Mersin in, Ter in Turkey, you would realise what an enormous task that was. I mean, literally, you cannot see your hand in front of your face. Or you couldn't until he started working on it. And so I attempted to contact him to ask him, can you do it? This was on the 5th of March 2010. I actually managed to get in contact with him. And I've been waiting for him since then to materialise. And this is one of the problems when dealing with Mr. Doyak. He often doesn't arrive. So it's a case of waiting, waiting, waiting. In the meantime, We've been doing a lot of work with Project Omega, which I'll come back to in a minute. And then a few weeks ago, Lynn McTaggart, that's from um, the, the book, The Field, What Doctors Don't Tell You in the Intention Experiment. I met her in London, no, sorry, no, in Hamburg a few weeks ago. And she gave me a little tip. And I realized combining some of the things that we've learnt about the Omega with the thing that she told me, it should be possible to activate this property of water, which is usually inactive, or not inactive, but is active over a very long time period, to activate that so that it works within a few minutes to remove all pollutants from the water and just to leave pure vital living water and that's exactly what I'm going to do now but I hope you've seen some of the healing transmissions these are healing energy which I give via video and you download them and as you watch the video you receive the healing transmission and many times as you watch the video that's how often you receive the transmission. Now, what I want you to do is to go and get two jugs or two glass bottles of water. Glass, not plastic. Plastic is water soluble, that's a pollutant. And put one of them on the table in front of you and put the other one a little bit further away. So, you know, just pause the film and go and get your containers. Glass containers.
So now you've done that, we come back to our table here where we have this jug of water which I've taken straight out of the tap or the faucet if you're in America. And what I'm going to do is to activate this principle in water so the water will clean itself. And what I want you to do is to watch this video and put your hand close to the jug of water or the bottle of water in front of you, about that far away. And if this experiment works well, and it should do, because the previous experiments have all functioned, then the water in the jug in front of you will start to clean itself as well. Uh, having once set the process going, it takes a few minutes to change the structure of the water. Although to me that looks visibly different now already. But we've also found on previous experiments, this is by no means the first time that I've done this. I've actually done this with Professor Lipton as well in, uh, in London a couple of weeks ago and London drinking water, I don't know if you've ever tried that, it's not recommended for human consumption. So we have our self-cleaning water and I hope you have as well and I just want to say cheers. That's actually quite good. What's actually happened here is that the Omega has so focused the intention that it was become possible for me to activate this property of water, this natural property of water, which as I say, it's there anyway, but often takes up to 50, 60 years. And we've activated it to be done in a couple of minutes. In fact, the, the process keeps going. The, the water quality will actually improve itself over about half an hour. So you know, maybe you'd like to leave it standing for half an hour. And then you've got your other jug and you just compare the two and see the difference. You will amaze yourself. Now, it's the Omega that's helping me do this. The Omega isn't doing it. it. The Omega is helping me do it because my intention is so much more focused, so much more concentrated. Now, the healers who are watching this film will immediately say, well, if he can do that with water, what happens with and the answer is, it's looking very, very positive. I've got a number of test cases that I'm using it with at the moment. And I'll let you know. But if you want to try it, that's the link to get one.